this is not a video directing to hating anybody. Do not send any hate towards the Hour of Energy. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about some um, situations that has been unfolding within the past couple of days. Anyways, let's get straight into it. The YouTuber, the Hour of Energy, also known as Gamer, has been going through a lot of controversies recently, and here's why. Something like this, where he says that he won't be streaming on YouTube anymore, he'll be moving to Twitch or something like that because YouTube isn't paying him. And then he says, I'm now streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I am very confused about this. Most of the time, like, if he was to quote-unquote quit YouTube, instead of saying that you're going to quit YouTube, you need to say, hey guys... I'm thinking about taking a break from YouTube. I'm going to stream on Twitch for a little while. Then I might come back to YouTube, but I don't know when. Now, let's talk about the drama that has been unfolding within the past few days. So around a few days ago, I was looking through Twitter and basically I've seen something that was tweeted by somebody by the name of Vulture and it stated that the Hour of Energy is a scammer, that he scammed, that uh, Phoenix slapped three years ago. And something about him not paying um, Phoenix back or something like that. And basically, whenever I first saw this, my first thought was, wait a second, I need to contact Gamer and see exactly what's going on. And this is exactly what he told me. He said that because he dared, I think it was something about pizza or soda, one or the other, I don't know, but... The Hour of Energy said that he wasn't going to do drink soda or eat pizza for a week, whatever it is. I forgot what it was. And the next thing you know, Gamer lost the bet. And he's supposed to pay him, I think he said it was like $300 or something like that. Which, my first thought was, Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Something else that uh, Gamer or the Hour of Energy has also been doing within the past guess you can say several years is begging now i know what you guys are probably thinking how is he begging well here is a screenshot of gamer messaging me where he tells me to block vulture which i didn't, know, didn't even know what the situation was and then this is what kind of captured my eye johnny don't stop donating to me block nathan now this is definitely one of the most confusing situations i've ever seen a couple of months ago, there was a YouTuber by the name of It Spray, which whom made a video on the Hour of Energy because of his actions on social media. And basically, I remember that there was a particular part of the video where Bray said something about begging people for money. And that kind of captured my eye right there. Now, here's the thing. This is a kind of like an advice for um, Hour. Please... You cannot beg for things. You have to work for it. Like, for example, I've been stuck at 23,000 subscribers since, the, what, 2020? Something like that. And I still got to upload. Still got to grind. That goes for you, too. You can't just simply just make a YouTube live stream. You have to put effort into it. You have to make it entertaining. You have to work your way to success, not beg for success. This is a conclusion to the video. The Hour of Energy, just do us one favor, please. Please change for your career. If you change on YouTube, stop begging. Stop starting drama. Ignore the drama. I've always told you, gamer, ignore it. Ignore it. What do you do? Respond to it. Just change. That's all we ask. We're not being mean to you. I've noticed that, you know, that's why people make videos on you. You need to change. Now, don't get me wrong. I've known Hour of Energy since December 2017. And ever since those five years of me knowing him, he has went through a lot of drama. And I'm going to say this. The reason why you are targeted so much is because you're an easy target. If you can take my advice, don't listen to the haters, do not respond to the negative activity, and actually, better yet, don't 
oppose anything that will cause them to start drama. Like, for example, like, let's just say that you, I don't know, do something and the next thing you know, you try. It's like if you try to start the drama with somebody that you don't like, it's just going to it's just going to continue back and forth, back and forth. That's the thing. You need to not start drama with people. If they start drama with you, leave it alone. Don't do anything that will start it. Just ignore it. I know I've repeated that a lot of times, but it's the truth. That's what the whole situation is about. If you do all of that, you will do just fine. Now, here is another thing. If you make a promise, keep it. Or don't make the promise. Because then that's going to make you look like a bad person. Based on true stories like on YouTube and other things or whatever. And yeah. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a YouTube video. If you did, be sure to smash the button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And remember, please, do not in any circumstances send hate to the Hour of Energy. You just need to learn to not be involved in drama. That's the number one important thing right now. If you could do any of that, that will make us happy. And we will trust you more. All right. As always, my name is Johnny Slapped, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.